Hi guys, welcome to the Hindu. Prashid, I want to start with this. It's lovely to see you back working in Hindi cinema again. And Thank you. It's been over a decade since uh, Shanghai had come. I wonder what kept you away. Were the projects not good enough? What What was it that? It was it? just Vikram didn't think about me. <laughs> <laughs> and he did get. I need to have something something like Shrikant Roy. That's it. Nothing he didn't make PC versus PC. Yes. It's nothing. I mean, yeah, I was waiting for something good. Mm. That's it. I was asking because a lot of your contemporaries, actors, directors from Bengal have been working more consistently now in Hindi. It's a good thing because mm. of this OTT platform, a lot of talents, not only from Bengal, I will say from all over the country. A lot of regional mm. actors are doing so much of good work. A lot of talents, new technicians sure. are getting a lot of exposure for this platform. Right. That's, that's okay. a good thing. And now, I think now we all can say that we are all producing Indian content. Okay. Yeah, that's a yeah. very good thing. Yeah. Jubilee looks beautiful and I also like how imbued it is, you know, with the love for a kind of cinema that we made back in the day and the studio system that was there. I will begin by asking all of you, what are your favorite films from that era, roughly that era, let's say 40s, 50s, early 60s, which are the films that you love most, Hindi films from, from that time? Lots for me. Uh, Piyasa is, is top of the pile. Um, Piyasa, uh, Avara, Bazi, yeah, so Vijayan's work, Rudolph's yeah. work, work. I think we... I wouldn't know the exact period, but whatever black and white stuff that I've huh. loved is uh, Sahib Bibi or Ghulam, Pyasa, Kagas Ki Pool, and then uh, Bimal Roy's uh, Bandini, yeah. uh, Madhumati, uh, uh, like films like that. Yes. But I don't know what period they are. Guide? Yeah, okay. I love Guide. Oh, Guide, Guide is amazing. Oh, also. man. I love Guide. And I love that dialogue from Guide. Paris, I said, Raju Guide, my name is not Jolly. We are in Bharat. Raju Guide. I think they must have had something in him which we oh, yeah. all have a yes. lot of respect for him. And I think when you talk about it, they must have always said that. And uh, I mean, you know, talking about films, I always talk about Jew Thief. I always talk about Sathne Sarnay Bhi Tere Ghar Ke Samne Ki Baat Kari. I think Nutan ji and uh, Devan Sabinet are beautiful. Oh God, the that songs, song uh, in that Kutub Minar. Dil ka bhaar kar puka. Oh, Rafi sahab ka gana aur sab kuch. Very kuch sare boxes tick maag hai us film mein. Awara for me, uh, because I didn't see black and white films. So when I started working on this is when I actually got introduced right. to that era and the music and the films. So Awara was one of the first few films right. I think that I saw. And you can tell with your character like there's, there's a strong Devanand influence also. Like, <laughs> 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 yeah, it's, it's like a mixture Mixed. but yeah, I was asked to stay away from all all the actors because I had to create my own. Uh, so, but it's it's always good to be inspired from the actors like Devanand Saab and Raj Kapoor Saab and all, and all these uh, right. legends. Yeah. the your all these films like Kagas Ke Phool, Raj Kapoorji, Gurudev Ji, Di Shantaram Ji, sure. fantastic films yeah. to do like Do Aakhe Bara Haat and all. Do Bhi Ghaza Me, Bimal Rai Daka. There are a lot of films right. like how do I... On that note I must start Vikram, your family history is lovelyly tied up with films. Your grandfather had produced a film called Andolan back yes. in the day. Right, Kishore yes. Kumar. Yes. Can you tell us something about that? that so, the, uh, so my family, they... they um, they used to manufacture the public broadcast system, Chicago Radio, and Andolan was the, uh, my grandfather's kind of like pet project, which he wanted to produce. And unfortunately, he didn't do very well. So, as the only film my family ever produced, and as I grew up, no one ever spoke about it. It was like a taboo subject. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 so, um, so, I don't know. So, from what I believe, and from what I've heard from little sources here and there, and you know, historically, and mm -hmm. all that sort of stuff, is that they, um, uh, my family used to also have a lot of coverage of the All India Congress sessions during, yes. uh, so there was a lot of documentary footage in that. Oh. So I think it was a bit of a mixture. Andolan in its time was a mixture, but you wanted to tell the story of India's you know struggle for freedom, which was also mixed with a lot of documentary footage, including Ramadana Tapo singing uh, Janagana Mana, which is I think <coughs> the only documented footage of it, something like that. Um, so I think that was the desire to tell the story, and I think that it was a very uh, from what I believe, it was a very noble desire, but I think it was also the movie came out at a time when no one really wanted to see the partition that just happened. It was too close and, you know, mm -hmm. where people were actually going to see a movie about it. Mm -hmm. I think that's probably why, uh, that's probably why it failed at that time. But I just thought it was an interesting tribute to yeah. name my company yeah. after, yeah. after that. Yeah. 
and when you're doing a period piece and a period film uh, how subliminally do the gestures or the actions of that period or the tonality of how people spoke largely a reference is also the movies for us we don't know if it's really the authentic thing or that's how they acted uh, all of that stuff get into your performance where you're noticing that you're a little different than uh, let's say how you'd be in a contemporary story you're different because you're just a different person and uh, i think uh, the uh, the fact that it's set in another time everything around you so all your stimuli is different so i i think you possibly naturally also respond to all of that differently um but a lot of like say for me uh, sumitra is you don't see her so much in film little bit mm. uh, and the in film 100% a little bit of the mannerism is a little different obviously from how we are today uh, but uh, vikram so wanted to keep it a, i mean he didn't delve so much into it at least not with me but for me it was more the her what's happening off camera mm. and uh, for that it was because of the person she is that uh, that i think i just had to stop my own instincts and just have a very different uh sort of way of being but i feel like especially with stuff that set in another time you have to be very careful not to posture and make it gimmicky and right. mim- mim- like you're like you're mimicking uh and to just make it natural because they're human beings something changes because uh, again wo us era mein distractions kam thi uh to sab kuch thoda sa thoda sa pace bhi uh mehsoos zyada karte the log jis pace mein the abhi kya bhag kahi rahe dimag kahi ho raha hai phone kahi aur se aa raha hai ye kahi aur ho raha hai so thode se khud ke saath zyada the uh ek insaan se baat kar rahe hain to usse baat kar pa rahe hain डिवाइडेड कम थे अपने आई थिंक दैट्स द ब्यूटी ऑफ दिस वर्क फॉर मी फ्रॉम द बॉडी लैंग्वेज टू द वॉइस लाइक फॉर इंस्टेंस माय कैरेक्टर इज फ्रॉम द थिएटर बैकग्राउंड सो जस्ट स्पेंडिंग टाइम विथ व्हाट उसकी लाइफ कैसी होगी क्या किया होगा आवाज कितनी खुली हुई होगी आवाज का टेक्सचर कैसे होगा बॉडी लैंग्वेज कितनी लाउड होगी कैसी नहीं होगी एंड आई लाइक द होल जर्नी ऑफ माय कैरेक्टर व्हिच इट्स एंड द बेस्ट पार्ट इज एक्चुअली द टेक्स्ट it gives you everything already you just keep creating you just keep playing with everything that you have uh in your system prashant i and i also asked this in the context that there are some real life parallels that people you know who know about that period would connect it to certain characters you know most obviously bombay talkies and the main figures around that space so was th- was that conscious did, did you have that in your mind that these characters reflect people out in the real world i mean it's it's not the same character but yeah there are people who have been like you know shashoda mukherjee there are a lot of people there are a lot of people who had uh, contributed and they had mm. the studios and mm. we know so i think uh, once you do this kind of a, like when i did choker bali of course it it was not referred with something it was a novel but uh, i need I, i had to go to that space so once we do this kind of a sh- uh, film or show whatever uh, i'm sure it's not nothing referred with the particular thing but it helps you and for that you need to know uh, a bit about those people uh, and i'm little fortunate that mm. i've been i've sure. grown up in this like sure. in this uh, industry so i know a lot of things i know these people uh, personally also so that helped me a lot mm. you don't don't mind me asking but 8 uh, years ago you were part of a massive period piece you know that crashed at mud what lessons from that you know bombay velvet experience did you take when you know designing again something you know of this magnitude uh i think bombay velvet should have been a series i don't think it should have been a film i think that was a that was a, 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 mm. a very obvious yeah conclusion that we had drawn mm. while because i think there was a you're making a film therefore it has to sort of like be in a certain sort of like three act structure it has to follow a certain sort of thing and you know you, your music has to play a certain sort of way and i think from the script and from in from anurag's uh what we were doing right in the beginning you realize that there is a much richer world that you want to be able to inhabit in uh, in bombay velvet that i think if you had let the audience inhabit that richer world and get used to it they would have been able to see that that film you know so i think uh for its moment i think that yeah if we, you know mm. looking at anurag me actually sort of spoke about this i mean yeah. he, you know when he saw stuff he's like there's so many things that we could have done on that one which we which we didn't so yeah there's lessons I don't think lessons there. I just think that each there's a there's a time and a place um, for everything. I don't think Jubilee could have been a film. I think yeah. it was very definitely it was conceived as a series, looked at as a series. I think Bombay Velvet kind of fell into that in between space where it needed to be a scaled up piece. But were we doing series at that point? No, we weren't. So it was yeah. yeah, one of those. Yeah. 
What is thought behind uh, releasing it in two parts over a week apart from each other? Interval point. Mm-hmm. It's a tribute. It's like it's a, the episode five has a has an interval, and we literally have an interval card. It was a way of paying tribute to be able to say, okay, here's watch the first half, take a break for a week, chill out, relax, go eat some popcorn, come back, have some participation. <laughs> You know, for the second half, <laughs> talk about it, discuss it, then come back and watch the second half. So it's a, it just felt very organic. It just right. it worked for us. Right. Apart from this, when you're playing off someone like Prashanji, you know, uh, and these two characters kind of feed off each other, right? They Absolutely. have a relationship that's almost toxic, you know, how initially and how that changes, how the power structure changes. What was it, you know, uh, playing off an actor like him, and what were you drawing from? I mean, you know, first, that excitement and excitement and nervousness in each one of them was always there. बट ये तो मेरे ख्याल से उनका बड़प्पन है कि ये कभी भी वर्कशॉप से स्टार्ट होते हुए ऐसी कोई बीट नहीं मिली कि लिसन मैं सीनियर हूं मुझसे पूछ सो वो उनका बड़प्पन है कि उन्होंने मुझे कभी भी ऐसी बीट नहीं दी एंड उसके साथ साथ विक्रम सर की एक ये कैप्टनसी है दैट यू नो एवरीबॉडी इज इक्वल ऑन सेट आई मीन बाकी जगहों पे इक्वल ट्रीटमेंट नहीं मिलता लेट्स बी ऑनेस्ट अबाउट इट यू नो सो यहां पे इसलिए वो जो इक्वल ट्रीटमेंट हो रहा था आई थिंक वहीं से ही थोड़ा सा आप इज आउट हो जाते हो एज एन एक्टर and then of course workshops really helped uh, so yeah i mean i think that really kind of had a uh, common composed uh, equation already wahan pahunch chuki thi and uh, i think um, uh, ek jo ajeeb uh, tarike se motivation mil gayi wo ye thi ki as an employee of you know roy talkies i'm supposed to look up to roy babu and real life also as an actor who is just side off will always look up to you know a senior to wo ek aapko ek common ground mil jata hai so it, it always the life becomes really easier to perform right also the space that was created by him and his team it's like you know it, it had a wo ek vibe thi sets jo aapne agar episodes dekhe hain jo sets the aur jo locations thi it was very alive it was just like a playground for us as characters to just come and just bring life and just just play right. so that was like the most beautiful part and conversations badal jati thi yaar i remember yeah. me and siddharth was sitting in that room which we were given you know um, in sri lanka we were sitting there talking about chandigarh ki jammu ki evo wagaira cut to hum set pe jab hain ya matlab you know pahunche to you know us zamane ke jooton ki baatein ho rahi hain wo cut ki baat ho rahi hai see the conversations badal jati hain So I think it becomes easier. Anyone took any prop from the period? <laughs> I really wanted to. I, I have to got it. I, I took my phata wa juta. I really wanted. Like, oh yeah. I wanted. Uh, I, wanted uh, I wanted a blouse that I had done yeah. 85 million trials. So I was like, one egg blouse. I have got it. Don't jump chase chashmas. And and all the lamps on set. Every time I walked onto set, I'd be like, where's that lamp? I'm going to project. फैंडम एंड पीपल एंड विक्रम मेड अवी ऑल अबाउट दैट यू नो विद अनुराग डू यू थिंक इट्स What's off now because of that? Because of the access that actors have given to the fandoms, so somewhere the mystery and you know that sense of enigma is lost about actors and stardom, which also fed into the movies. You know that mystery kind of fed into our appreciation of the films also. I think it's a good and bad. Like the good is that we, you know, we we get those DMs where uh, uh, you know able to reply to people, make their day. However, like it's a small thing from mm-hmm. our side, but it makes people happy. But I think that interaction is nice. But hundred percent, we have to remember as actors that we are not influencers. We are artists, and we like you know, and that whole um, mystery of you know coming on screen and being a character is really exciting. And also, it helps in the believability of it. Like if I know everything about you, and then you're suddenly playing something that you're not, it messes with your you know with yeah. with. With that whole thing of trust, right. can I can I trust that this person can do this, etc., etc., and hundred percent that ephemeral nature and that magical quality is kind of different. And I mean, it's not there on honesty, but it there's a good and bad. I think and and it sounds cliche, like in you know, I mean, I'm right. Use करेंगे technology का तभी वो correct है. 
इंस्टाग्राम एंड सोशल मीडिया इज नॉट प्रॉब्लमैटिक जो लोगों को चीप थ्रिल्स मिल रहे हैं कुछ वो बहुत ज्यादा आई थिंक प्रॉब्लमैटिक है वो असर करता है ना ही आपके मानसिक संतुलन कुछ भी बात ऐसे लिख देना एंड स्पेशली आई सीन सम समशियस थिंग्स रिटन ऑन फीमेल एक्टर्स यू नो की कमेंट सेक्शन एंड वो बात है डेफिनेटली बहुत डिस्टर्बिंग है मी एज को आर्टिस्ट एज अ कॉलीग आई फील डिस्टर्ब कि मैंने अगर किसी एक्स वाई जी एक्ट्रेस के कमेंट सेक्शन में ऐसी एक लाइन पढ़ ली है Even the good, if you start reading the good, you actually start believing your own yeah. myth. Yeah. That's mm, the absolutely. worst. Absolutely, yeah, true. That's the worst. It's not just social media; it's also news. Every time you're opening something, there's there's something really disturbing that yeah. just comes. So I think there are pros and cons. I like as 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 far as actors are concerned, I I like what she said that the mystery angle is very important. Yeah. But I also uh, think what's what's happened is that over over if you look at the fifties, sixties, seventies, and you know we talk about. Why is it that movies and it's in in the olden days did golden jubilees and silver jubilees yeah. and stuff? Is mm-hmm. so that because you only had the only way you could see the star that you love was in the movie theater? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, in magazines, yeah. that's it. Wow. Yeah. You had no other access to them. They weren't on TV. They weren't on social media. They weren't anywhere. They weren't on your on the on your fingertips to be able to watch yeah. anywhere. And, and people used to watch films of fifty times. I think yeah. that's the clo- that's how you feel closest yeah. to exactly. an actor. Like yeah. you know, longer to be because yeah. of that. You yeah. kept going back to watch your yeah. heroes. You, you go multiple times to see a Mr. Bachchan or yeah. a Dilip Kumar before that or a Devanand yeah. before that. And I think yeah. that. As you've got more and more access, even even our most successful films are not running beyond six to eight weeks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you know, for yeah. films that would run for fifty weeks, uh, yeah. it's a huge, uh, right. it's a big. Rajendra, so, your thoughts on this? Uh, you done a film called Autograph back in the day that also. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You see, I've been like, what do I say? I mean, there was a time when we used to have fan letters and all mm. that. So, and it's a new technology. But I think what Aditi is right. I mean, you need to balance it. If I had a speech on this on Facebook in uh, on the Facebook office in uh, San Francisco, mm. so like we need to balance, you know. I'm not talking about it's not bad. You you feel good when you talk because the interaction has to be there with the fans, right? But you need to also balance that that magic. That magic also is very much needed. That you know, whether it is cinema, whether it is for OTT, or whether it is for television. So end of the day, what we sell, we sell. Uh, a dream, yeah. right? We are not real. I'm not Srikanth Roy. She is not. Uh, so it's it's a dream. The director is taking so much of pain to make believe these are the people. So somewhere we also need to have little responsibility to keep that. Social media is is an it's an interesting place, but our need to keep screaming yeah. is the problem. <laughs> we keep wanting to scream, scream, yeah. scream about ourselves. डायरेक्शन <laughs> So I need to know what is journalism, <laughs> right? And if you, if I say you are a cinema journalist, I will take whatever you say. But somebody I don't know. Yeah. Somebody starts talking about one of those, you know, maybe one of the finest actor of our country, and starts talking about one of the finest director. Everybody has their responsibility. We are professionals, right? So that is also has to be. Means, Because you have something, you can't start writing anything, whatever you want. You need to also get into it. Right. Sure. Great. Thank you so much, guys. All the best for you. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.